Hello, oh, welcome to Mathematics class with Flash Isaac. Today I'll be taking you through introduction to sets in mathematics. Uh, now, what is set? Set is simply a defined collection of distinct objects now take note of every term in this definition set is a defined collection of distinct objects defined it means the collection must be defined so set is a collection like group arrangement of objects but the collection must be defined and it must be distinct now if you are giving a collection or i am specifying collection of objects i must define it for example if i say set of students in a class in a class this is defined if I say numbers greater than 2 and lesser than 10, numbers greater than 2 and lesser than 10. So this is defined in the sense that if anywhere you go, if you go to Europe, you go to London, America, Nigeria, anywhere you go, number greater than numbers greater than 2 and lesser than 10 a uh, three four five six seven eight nine so there is no argument about this this is defined statistic states in nigeria it's defined so you can't argue that a do state is not a state in nigeria everybody has agreed it's defined now how about i say set of old teachers This is not a set. Old teachers in a school is not a set because it is not defined. For example, if you say old teachers, not everybody will agree that someone who is 50 years of age is old. So some person will be like, I'm not old, I'm just 50. Someone, someone can even say, I am 50, uh, 55, I'm not old yet. So some will say, no, old age starts from 60. So there is a debate. Not everybody will agree that. So, so person is old or this person is not old. So this set is not defined. Or I say a set of uh, best footballers in a class. It is not defined because some persons can argue that this person is not good. This one cannot play football now. This one is not okay. So there is argument. It's not defined. But if I say set of teachers in a school above 50 years, so this is defined above 50 years. So nobody will argue about it. So set is defined collection of objects. And the objects must be different. Yes. So they are not the same. So every object in a set, they must be different. No object is repeated. So it's distinct. Each object stands on their own. And set is represented by a curly bracket like this. So this set and it's represented with capital letter. So if you are saying A is equals set of numbers greater set of numbers greater greater than five and less than ten. So look at it. A set of numbers greater than 5 and less than 10. So this is simply A is equals set of students. Set of numbers greater than 5 and lesser than 10. So 5 itself is not greater than 5. 6, 6 is greater than 5. So 6, 7, 8, 9. So we've represented this. A is set of students. Even without this A, I can say 
set of students greater than a set of numbers greater than five and lesser than ten. So you can say, okay, let the set be S or T represented with any number, but it must be in capital letter. So equals the set. So this is the curly bracket, and this is set of numbers greater than five and lesser than ten. So this is how you represent it in a set. And we can have empty set. Set of people who will never die is equals empty or no set. So set is defined collection of distinct objects and it's represented with curly brackets. And I've given example of a defined collection. Venn diagram is a diagram you can use to represent sets. So you can have something like this. Set, so set A, set B. This is similarity and this is the universal set. So this is introduction to set. So quickly check out my video on terminologies used in set. Because while solving or working with set, there are different themes like subset, universal set, empty set, no set, and also vein diagram. So go through those videos. Thank you for taking your time to watch my introduction to set. See you in my other videos. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because you're about to get hot, hot tutorials.